thank you for coming. Uh, this is a high temp dish machine. I believe you had a low temp dish machine before. Yes. yes. So a little bit different. So this will help with um, some of the like the lipstick stains on cups, um, greasy foods. It helps to melt that down a little bit easier. The difference is we're not using a chemical to sanitize like you would in a low temp. Mm. Uh, so that was more of like a chlorine to sanitize the dishes. With this, it's going to use 180 degree water to sanitize. Uh, so it kills the bacteria, and the machine will stay in its uh, rinse until it gets the 180 degree water. So if for whatever reason something happens, if somebody starts filling this up and it pulls all the hot water, this will just continue to run for a few minutes until it gets that hot water. It does have a, a water heater on board, a booster, uh, so it will boost it up 70 degrees. Uh, Nick, yes. when you say we end up running that water at the same time the dishwasher is running, right. you said it would run for a few minutes? It, it'll, it depends on, uh, there's a lot of variables, so water heater size, uh, how far away the water heater is. Uh, but it would be preferable if we didn't run them at this, and this, right. I mean, yes. when Don ran it once when I was here, it took 40 seconds. So that's not long to turn that off. Right, I'm yeah, just, I'm, I'm just saying if somebody maybe were to come in, somebody new, and right. they, you know, turn this on okay. and go full hot, yeah. and then they try to turn this on, it has okay. that, uh, that safety built in right. just to make sure that well, it puts out sanitized Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, so anyways, uh, operation is going to be very similar to the previous machine. You pull down the, uh, the door handle. Once these go all the way to the bottom, it'll start the, uh, the washing. Uh, we still want to rinse off the dishes uh, if possible. It, it will help. Um, it was kind of a joke. You know, we, we always talked about getting the lipstick off. Uh, but now that they're making the lipstick harder to come off their face, <laughs> now it's, it's kind of harder to get off the cups too. So, uh, you know, do a, a little bit of a quick rinse if you can, some sort of, if you see like some lipstick on there, try to wipe it, but this will help break that down a lot easier. We do have a rinse sink here. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Got it. So important. What about food particles? Those should be mostly rinsed off? Mostly rinsed off. Yeah. There's a screen right now, inside. Right up first and then we rinse. Yeah. So, so the more... Uh, scrapped the plates are, the better results you're going to get on any machine. Uh, we do have this screen here, so this will catch little bits of food, that sort of thing, uh, that will keep it from going down into the, the water and then eventually down the drain. Uh, so you pull this out, clean it off, uh, you can use the free rinse, that sort of thing, and spray it off. Uh, this is really heavy gauge steel, and just be careful because some water is dripping on the floor. Uh, this is heavy gauge steel, but uh, it can be bent. If somebody, not that you would do it, but in like a restaurant, I've seen these guys just beat these pieces of equipment. Not the <laughs> so yeah, so we just want to turn it upside down. Use uh, maybe a sponge. This uh, pre-rinse here, we can spray it from the back, and all those little bits. Will come out. Uh, and then this will go back in. There is one more. Pull that out. Uh, it only goes in one way because it has this little handle here. So if you try to turn it the other way, it wouldn't work. Slides into, and this is down inside of the, uh, the sump right there. And, and what is that? That's called the air sump. Yeah, it's just kind of like a last sump strainer, last defense. So it goes. So it goes. Kind of like water in there, but right there. And it just falls into the place. Water. Yep. And everybody comes. It's on your photo, middle photo. Oh, okay. Oh, it's on the left side. Yep. Yeah. And there's one other thing, and that's the uh, that's the stand pipe. And so the, the stand pipe is what's holding the water in the tub down there. Uh, instead of having to pull all of this out, and reach in and lift it up, there's a little bracket right here that's connected to the top. And so as you lift that up, it'll actually pull that tube out. Uh, and
is it's saving water because it's using the uh, it's using the rinse water. And there is a they call it a standby. It's like an overflow pipe, so it always adds a little bit of water. The water overflows out and skims off the top. Uh, so it's always going to be fresh from the top here. That's going to be the final rinse. But with the detergent, if you're using soap water. It's kind of like if you have soap water in one of these or sink at home. It doesn't need to be replaced every time. Uh, but we want to make sure that it's not sitting in there all day or even into the next day sort of thing. So we want to have fairly fresh water. The way that a, a low temp machine works is it will actually dump every time. So it dumps that water and then it will plug up the drain, it runs the rinse water, and then that will get soap for the next batch. And then the next batch it opens up, drains out that water, closes up, and then uses the rinse. So it's using more water. Uh, this is actually a water saver, but just something to keep in mind. So we do want to pull that. So let me clarify that. If this sits for two or three weeks, and then you come back to use it, and then do that right first? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Actually, it sounds like really we're not going to be running it for two hours. We won't have that many issues. Right. But as soon as we're done running it, then we could make a, we take out the strainer, we clean the strainer, we clean the other little cell strainer, and pull the pipe, yep. and then pull the pipe, exactly. and empty out. And so it's empty. I mean, it's yes. empty. Yeah. Yeah. And then you shut off the unit. Yeah, you don't have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah, so then when you come in, it's already done. Absolutely. So we should drain it when we're done. Uh, while I have this open, uh, there are these arms come off without any tools. Uh, they just twist off. They kind of have like a neural edge right here, so you can twist that off. Uh, you're going to have an identical one up here. First time it might be a little bit tight. Or we'll put them in. Well. All right. So you have That's where the water comes out. Yeah. They're identical, so you don't have to worry about. Yeah, these are identical, and then you have the uh, non-clogging wash arm down here, and that's just below. Might be maybe a rubber glove or something like a hot glove for this one. Why would we have to take them off? So these come off just because the water is recirculated through the system. Well, do you, let me, let me ask, it's under your, under shut down and clean, do you do this every time you use it? And this for, under for order seven and eight? Yeah, for your use, you, you might want to, just because you're not operating in the middle of the week, right? We're not doing it daily, we're not using it daily. So, right. So we should do this. I would, I would probably, yeah, okay. probably pull the these out. So these can be washed off in the sink. Uh, these are non-clogging jets, so we do try to put a big open jet on there. Uh, hopefully things will come out in little bits of <laughs> grain or corn or something like that. Uh, if you do see something stuck in here, these ends do come off. So it's just a flathead screwdriver. You just twist off the end. Uh, you can spray them off in the sink because this goes all the way through. Or you can even run the machine with the caps off. We just want to make sure that you put the caps back on. So what it'll do is it'll it'll blow everything out. Right. And and then those are the those out. are very tiny. How do we replace them once somebody loses one? <laughs> so you can we don't lose them. We don't. Yeah, you can order them uh, <laughs> online, but it's, it's best just to keep track. Probably so we, we probably only want very specific people to do this part. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we got a container up there that we can manage it. And, and say this is where we put loose parts while we're cleaning. Okay. That'd be good. You probably don't even need to put this back in here just because you can take it, you have the sink right here with the pre wash. Yeah. You can pull those out, set them in a nice safe spot, yeah. turn it sideways, and just blast it through yeah. from one end to the other. I, and I just, you know, put it back in. I just want that to be something pure rather than yeah. a hot water. Yeah. 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 I don't want to lay down a drain in that sink because somebody's stuck up there. Right, yes. <laughs> For example. I understand. <laughs> Okay, so this thing we will know is different because not only is it larger, but it has that screw on basic on it. It has bigger spouts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to twist all these back in.
And it is a it is a common thing for the dishwashers. Um, these are they have smaller holes on the rinse arms because we're not using as much rinse water as we are wash water. Um, so those might be a little tougher to see. Uh, and then this this has the same flathead screwdriver end on it. Does it make a difference which one is on the top and which is on the bottom? Uh, no, they're identical. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The dish was <laughs> came on with a little brush. A little, I don't know. That, would that be what you use? Yeah, so you could use that if, if particles get in there. Um, also keep an eye on this. Sometimes the water, I'm not sure if there is any kind of like filtration for the building. You know that Don or What's that? like a water softener or anything? No, we don't have a water softener. Uh, so just keep an eye on it. Uh, there is like a like a deliming agent that you can use, just like lime away, mm -hmm. uh, because the water is very hard here. Uh, so you can actually just put that in. There is a delime cycle. Uh, I'll show you how to use that. It basically, we'll just run the machine indefinitely. So the idea behind it is not going to use the, uh, it's not going to signal the chemical pumps to go, or shouldn't. Uh, and then you're just going to put in a powder or a liquid into the base here, uh, and it'll run for five minutes, and then you basically drain out the water and then just run a couple flush cycles. That will help to keep down the, uh, the hard water. And that is that a once every six months sort of a deal uh, for only doing it once Yeah, it depends on how bad the buildup is. Usually, I'll tell people if they start to see like the the chalky yeah. uh, calcium mm -hmm. looking buildup like on the shower head, uh, I'll tell them maybe try it once every week or two. But since you're not going to be using it uh, very often, it might be several months before you have to yeah. do it. This brush looks like maybe it goes through the tubing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Through through the ends. If you do start to, uh, you know, if you take off the ends of these caps and you're looking down and you're seeing a hole getting smaller, mm -hmm. uh, definitely up your frequency of the deliming so that you can get that back under control. Uh, I've had some people where I come in and the hole inside looks like it's painted white. And you know, it's not like the machine is adding anything, it's just the water is so bad. Mm -hmm. So we're able to get that all cleaned out and delimed and it's, it's good. But we also want to make sure that uh, there's a heater element down inside the unit. And that will build up around the heater elements, and then it just takes longer to heat up the water, so it makes it uh, less efficient. So we want to make sure to keep everything as clean as possible. So uh, what it's doing right now is just kind of uh, adding water to it because we drained out some of that water. So before it starts to cycle, does the uh, auto fill will set for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. This one does an auto fill, and some of the lower temps we actually have to yeah. hold the fill up for a while. See the worst. And the um, then the on off button. Yeah. You set it to automatic. Is that what you it's, it's it's on and off right here. Uh, so it's been on the before when I came in. I was running the cycle, so right. it'll it'll always run automatically uh, as long as it's in the on position. If you turn it off for the end of the day, you can open and close this. It won't do anything. Okay, but if we chose not to have it running automatically, let's say there's multiple people working in there, can we just put it on? How do we I put it on manual this one? Um, I would probably leave it on just because of the fact that there's a tank heater in there. And usually your meal period isn't isn't going to be so long that you're going, say, an hour or so between cleanings. You'll probably knock out all your cleanings. Uh, but I'm, you, I'm more concerned about um, Less mature people, okay. maybe doing things too quickly or moving too fast and opening it up when it should be, or it stay closed until it's finished until it's final? Uh, if you open it up, it should terminate the cycle. It should, yeah. We, we'll, we'll check it and see right now. Uh, but yeah, it, that you can't change. I was just talking about when you lower the door down, it'll start the cycle.
Okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. They do also make like uh, non slip mats, you know, like rubber, and they're slightly lifted up. I just wanted to make, I just was hoping it wouldn't pull in those things, but since it does, you know that. So right now what it's doing, this is a mentless unit. So normally you would open up the unit and you have a bunch of moisture that comes out. Uh, so what this does is we have cold water that comes in through the back here and it moves back and forth like a radiator. Uh, when this unit is in this mode right now, there's two fans that are pulling steam out of the cabin and they come over the cold tubes. So the cold uh, tubes, steam gets it, turns back into condensation and runs back down to the machine. So it's also helping with some energy. It's, uh, it's boosting up that water uh, that's coming in with the cold uh, using the, the waste steam heat. And then it's also going to be eliminating the vapors because normally you would need to have a hood, not, not that big, but a vapor hood of some sort on the high temperature. So this runs for it's about 30 seconds or so. Uh, it was all part of the cycle. Right. And so now when I open this up, we don't have all that steam coming up. Uh, and it keeps the mold from yeah. going in the room. Right. And see, it didn't splash all around. And so, no buttons, yeah, you just, just pull down on, on one of these sides here, and as soon as it touches down, it'll, it'll take off. Yeah. Yeah. It will help out a little bit going from the low temp, because uh, the low temp, there's, there's very low heat. It's about 120 degree minimum, up to about 150. So with this 180, uh, maybe even a little more, and then you have the fans pulling that, uh, The green light will go out when it's finished. Oh, okay. There's a green light on. It's not that prevalent, but from where I'm standing, yeah. you can see it. So, so, the, so the difference between the auto and the manual, yes. um, the manual is the D-line mode. So oh, that's going to be okay. the one where, okay, it's time to D-line, so we're going to flip it over to manual. Okay. And then that's when you have your, your liquid or your powder inside. No dishes at that point. And then it's just going to run. So if somebody ever comes in here, switches this on accident over to manual, uh, and then she's the running the for 20 minutes, <laughs> you can't figure out why it's up, okay. make sure that this is back on auto. So oh, you say it's not on auto, and when you're done, you just turn it off. Yeah. So the okay. other day, you yeah, it's off the switch. Okay. So there is an on off switch, so you turn it off. So, so what we need to tell people is that they should never lower that unless it's moving, right? Yeah, otherwise it will just start a cycle. Yeah. And then you'll have kind of this. Unless we have the switch off. If we turn the switch off, we can lower it. Then you can do it, yes. Okay, that's but if, right. yeah, if it's on and you're, you know, somebody lowers this thing down, as soon as it makes that, there's a little oh, contactor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it'll, it'll go. Okay. When it's just sitting here and it's currently, do we leave it up or do we? I would leave it up. And turn uh, it off. And yeah. turn it off, right? Yeah. Okay. Off. Uh, make sure it's drained. Perfect. That way you don't have water standing in there. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll go away after the first cycle or so, but it'll right. smell a little musty. Uh, <laughs> make sure leave that closed. Uh, oh, cycles right here. So we have normal, medium, heavy, and extra heavy. So that would just be if you had um, 
say like a big stock pot or something, it was a little greasy and wanted to put it in there and turn it into extra heavy. Doesn't use any more chemicals uh, or really more water, it's just going to spray it for longer. Mm -hmm. So it has a longer cycle. Uh, and those are just uh, usually every time you go up, it's about an extra. So we have uh, so we could, we could make a nice big pot of spaghetti and at the end of the day just put that pot in there right. and scrape it. Yeah, 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 of course. But then, then it'll be, you know, there might be like some starch or some grease or something. So when you move this over here like this, it gives it that extra time to help just kind of knock that off. Okay. And more. then Jan doesn't have to take them home. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, so yeah. It's done now. Usually. It's been done for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been done for a while. Got a thing like Go ahead. Pull it out on the other side. So we pull it this way. Yeah, and then those are just stir dry. Uh, flip them however you want to do it. Uh, do you do any wine glasses at all? No. No, we're Methodist. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not drinking on camera. We're working on that. We're working on that. I hear you. Okay. <laughs> Intoxicated. And now that's on video. That was me. Special racks for those glasses. Or if you have a So because wine glasses are so delicate, mm -hmm. uh, they actually have little compartments. And so you put them in there, and that way they're not bouncing around. Uh, and, actually, so. they don't even have glasses. So don't have oh, glasses. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. just wanted to make sure. Uh, 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 yeah, so we'll we'll we'll, with all of this, we'll need to. I mean, so it's the environmental side. Yeah. Well, uh, no, 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 no. That goes on in the trays. It goes in the trays. Okay, so yeah, in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Very good. But can you fit both yes. somewhere in one tray? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just curious. Um, so for wine glasses, they push them up the stem down, so they don't get broken. Uh, you would actually. No, they have to. Yeah, you would put a stem up because otherwise it would just fill up with water. But uh, you don't have to worry about that. So. <laughs> um, but these Sets on, there's no screws. Um, I have not had any issues with this. Uh, just to be clear, this we don't put in, but this would be okay. It does have a dishwasher on there. Okay. Uh, we can always try it and melt it off. Yeah. And you know what? That's came from Stonefire Grill, where they have professional. Yeah. These kind. I mean, I don't know if they have this kind, right? Right. Real there. Yeah. Okay. So 
Okay, yeah, I, I was saying since it has that logo, it should be fine. Uh, so I'm just going to pull out the the screens here, and then you'll be able to take a look inside where it's completely green. Okay, so if you do this, maybe it was just stuck the first time, but I just lift it up, move it off the side. Just like that. And I can see the water draining out, but if you jiggle that, it would fall back into place. But if we are doing a huge event, you said every two hours, so every, you change yeah, that. every two hours. So after Holly Week, and then after Messenger. So if you want to read that, okay, Holly Week, you're going to use it. Right. So you clean it out, you right. drain the water. You, yeah. Every time you use it, you mm -hmm. leave it dry. Yeah. You clean everything out and you leave it dry. And then, but he's talking about two hours. If you're using it consistently for two hours, if you're running it for two hours, then you have to change the lock. We're never running it for two hours. No. no. Let me mention something about the chemicals underneath here. Yes. Um, when you do change one, Don had to drill a hole in the Top. In order to have a secure top, so don't ever throw that top away. Oh, just use it over to take it. Yes. Throw the old, throw the new top away and put yeah. the old one in. Yeah, that's good. Let's put a label on it. Yeah. Wow. Just I don't want somebody to inadvertently do that because otherwise you've got a big open hole, which of course somebody knocked it over. But yeah, so, yeah. Let's turn it. Yeah. So okay. if you want to take a look inside, that's the unit drained out. That's the, the heating element. Mm -hmm. um, And is vinegar okay to use instead of like a lime away? Yeah, you can use a vinegar. Um, make sure not to like right now. Um, if it's still hot, the element is just charged. Make sure maybe to come in and do it the uh, next day before you start up. That way nobody risks the element burning. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But yeah, it'd be good to get down inside of that area as well. Um, and is that is that where I put the camera right over there? When you do the lime away. Mm -hmm. Cycle. Right. Does that take care of that area too, or that's a manual cleanup? Uh, that might need to be a manual. There's a little bit more water that just kind of sits down there. Yeah. So yeah, you can. I would try it first one time. Just mm -hmm. run some of the uh, vinegar in there and see if it helps. If not, you might need to mm -hmm. kind of move it around with a, a sponge. Yeah. Um, it's pretty simple, huh, Jan? Mm -hmm. Literally, to do this. turn it on, what? Right. <laughs> yeah. And turn it off. How long would we expect the sound to stay hot after you turn it on? Uh, I, would, Just, I, mean, I would probably warning give it, people. Right. Because we have. I'd probably give it like an hour or so. Okay. Because uh, it's a, when you look inside there, it's a big. But when we are everyday people are not going to be cleaning the elements. No. no. You know, they're not going to be in that area. Right. No, but you have, you have been a scraped food off the dishes. Correct. But that is nothing that will be exposed there. But also. Thank you. Any other questions? I'll leave some cards, and I'm right in the 19th beach as well, so close. Okay. Thanks. Great. I admit you had a group. Done a great job. Awesome. Explaining it all. Make a little dishwasher for our home. <laughs> 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 we have a real capture. I know. <laughs> so I turned it off uh, right after I drained it, so now you can see it touches all the way to the bottom. It's not doing any. Okay, you say leave it open when it's off. But when we're draining it, it has to be on the on mode with a lid up. I would turn it off. Oh, okay. I, yeah. Just because if you have an element there, you don't want the element just sitting there hot. The water does help it a little bit. Um, don't want it to get like too hot or anything. Okay, but that's more of a chemical drain than an electronic that doesn't have to be on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This just lifts out. Like that. And if you if you want to take a look in there, you can see that from this side, there's two like ears that stick out, and so those if you kind of like jiggle it, it holds it in place. Right now. Mm -hmm. If you lift it up and move it to like one side of the other, it'll work. Yeah. 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 Thank you too much.